everyone, it's Samantha from Scrap Masters Paradise. Today I have a haul video to share with you guys. I love seeing what you guys order and I'm pretty much addicted to haul videos so I thought I would share my haul with you. In a Sunday scoop a little while back I mentioned that I loved the new Stampin' Up! inks so I went ahead and placed a big Stampin' Up! order a little while back. They're having some sort of hostess special where if you ordered a certain amount you'd get extra hostess dollars so I went ahead and took advantage of that sale to get um, the most bang for my buck since Stampin' Up! stuff's kind of expensive um, so I'm just gonna walk you through all the stuff that I got and I'm gonna end up doing some tutorials on some of these items because I thought they were super cool so I got the envelope punch board it's made by We Are Memory Keepers and none of my big box stores had actually had this so I wanted to go ahead and add this to my Stampin' Up! order instead of ordering from somewhere else. So it just comes with the board and instructions and I think this is metric um, measurements whereas this shows the US measurements. So I'm going to figure out how to use this and do some tutorials on it coming up. I'm really excited to try that out and make my own envelopes. So I definitely I'm really excited about this one. I also got lots and lots of ink pads, so I'll just go ahead and start grabbing them out. I've got I got all of the end colors for this year. They change their colors out every year. So I got baked brown sugar, which is a nice brown, coastal cabana, I love anything, turquoise and aqua, and strawberry slush, just a nice pink. Also got pistachio pudding. It's like a minty type of color. I got all of the subtles. Walk you through all of these ones. I've got wisteria wonder, marina mist, soft sky, pool party, wild wasabi, pear pizzazz. So saffron, pink pirouette, blushing bride, and calypso coral. And they redid their colors. I'm so disappointed that they got rid of pretty and pink. So I didn't get a pretty and pink ink pad. I was really excited to get it in the new form. I also got crisp cantaloupe, which is another one of those new in colors. I got the neutrals ink pads. Um, if they don't come with the white or the vanilla. We got basic gray, basic black, chocolate chip, soft suede, the smoky slate, which is their new gray. It's a really light gray. I'm excited to try this one out. Sahara sand, crumb cake, which is their craft color, and early espresso. So I already have plenty of black ink, so I'll probably be giving away that black ink. Last ink pad set. I didn't get the Regals. Um, I I don't really like the Regals colors. They're too dark for me. You know, I like really really bright colors. So the last set, the last ink pads I got were the Brights, which are my favorite. Um, I got Old Olive, Tempting Turquoise, which is one of my favorite colors, Pacific Point, Rich Razzleberry, Real Red. Melon Mambo, Bermuda, Br Bermuda Bay, which I'm glad they brought this back. I'm recognizing a lot of these color names from previous in colors. Um, Tangerine Tango, Pumpkin Pie, and Daffodil Delight. So I've got all of those. So I'm really excited um, to have lots and lots of ink pads again. I also got lots of ribbon, and the ribbon spools. I, it's been maybe about two years since I've ordered anything from Stampin' Up! And the ribbons are different. They used to have some sort of plastic piece on the outsides of these. Um, like this. But they've been redone to like where they only have the paper now. They don't have this plastic piece. I actually really like that because it's more eco-friendly not to have the plastic on there. Now the whole thing can just be easily recycled. But... But I had a problem. One of my little spools came apart, so I'm not digging them completely since one of my spools is totally messed up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it now because um, it just doesn't work and the 
the ribbon's coming off the other side, so I'm not too thrilled about the broken one, but I think I'll manage. I grabbed all the ribbon so I could show it to you guys. This is the Strawberry Slush. It's Stretch Ruffle Ribbon. So it actually does stretch. I thought it was cute. I wish they came in more colors, but it's just for those newer in colors. So I got the Strawberry Slush, the Coastal Cabana. It's really cute. And the brown sugar. I thought that would be really cute for some vintage -y, shabby chic type of cards. And then I got a lot of colors of their chevron twill. I'm obsessed with the chevron twill. I've got it in every color um, that I found it in before. But Stampin' Up! has their own colors of it. So I got the Smoky Slate. This one is Wisteria Wonder. And they've got Calypso Coral. This one is Chocolate Chip and Island Indigo. So just a bunch of different colors than the Chevron Twills I got. I didn't get any colors that were sort of similar to the colors I already had. So I like those. Another thing I'm super, super excited about is the magnetic platform for the Big Shot. And there was actually a warning on the box. Um, that there was a magnetic field like the one in here in case you have like a pacemaker something that reacts with magnets so I was I've been stalking the Sizzix website trying to find the magnetic platform they haven't had it the whole time I've been looking for it but Stampin' Up! had it so I went ahead and ordered it from Stampin' Up! it's just a magnet I'm really excited to try this out with my SP dies it looks like it works with any of the wafer thin steel dies so super super excited about this one I've been wanting this one for as long as I've heard about it I also got a brayer I I had a cheap old brayer that I didn't really like so I I'm hoping that this one is a lot better so I can do some inking techniques for you guys coming up soon and I ended up getting a lot of cardstock I got so much cardstock I think I duplicated a little bit of it and the last thing I got were these candy dots. I wanted to try these out. These are in the brights color. And I'm really, really disappointed. Look how all of them have already, how a bunch of them have already come off the sheet, which makes me think they're not going to stick really well to projects. So I'll have to probably use liquid adhesive. But I really like the color of them. Some of them look a little glossy, and then some of them, like these colors, look matte finish which I think they're really cool. I might end up with more packs of these um, whenever I order again. It'll probably be <laughs> another two years before I order again, but I'm really excited about trying those out. So I've got some cardstock here. I got the pistachio pudding. It's that minty color. I thought that would be pretty for Christmas cards. And I got the in color pack. So it's got some more of that pistachio pudding, but all the in colors for that year. This is the Smoky Slate, and I just love this gray. Um, Paper Tray Ink has a light gray, and I felt like their gray was just kind of funky. I'm not really pleased with it, but I love this color. It's like a cool gray, where I think their gray is kind of a warmer gray. I don't know, it just it didn't look good to me. So I like this one lots better already. I got some items off the clearance rack. This is the Coordinations card stock. I'm trying to find the color name. So it doesn't say the color name on it. It's either Real Red or Cherry Cobbler. They had two colors on there. So I like textured cardstock. So I went ahead and got a lot of the coordinations since that's their textured cardstock now. This is the Brights collection. So it's all coordinations cardstock just in the Brights colors. You can open it up. And you can sand off. It's just textured and you can sand it to reveal an inner core color that's supposed to be like a lighter version of the same color. I also got the smooth 12 by 12s in those new in colors. This is just smooth cardstock. And then I got last two things are two more packs of the coordinations cardstock. Um, these were off the clearance rack too. And um, this is I think this is called Gumball Green. It's their last it might be their last year's green. I don't know. I don't know when that color came out. And then this one is either chocolate chip or early espresso. It's just a dark brown. And so that is all I got. I just got lots and lots of supplies. 
they Stampin' Up! has some of my favorite card stock to use, so I just stocked up. So I'll be using this stuff on future projects, and I'll probably do a review of these dots once I start using them. And I'll have some tutorials using some of the other supplies. Thanks for watching my haul video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.